Here is the news feeder template. The news feeder template lets you connect to a number of RSS feeds. You can configure the RSS feeds and the links in the template itself. So in this case, we've added two RSS feeds, College Fashion and Harper's Bazaar. So I can select College Fashion, for example, to subscribe to the College Fashion feed and then tap on the next button. And then I'm prompted to subscribe to the application. So I can either log in with a username and a password or I can log in using Facebook. This is implemented using the pass.com backend. So the good thing about this is your user's details are now saved in the database on the backend on your pass.com account. So in this case, I'm going to log in with Facebook. So now the app saves my details and then the next time I open the app, it's going to show me a list of articles from the feeds that I have subscribed to. So in this case, this is the college fashion feed and I can browse the articles in the feed by scrolling up and down. And I can select any item in the feed to view, to view more details. And then I can browse to read the article itself. And at the end of the article, I can share to Facebook or share to Twitter. We have a couple of other tabs which also display feeds from social networks. So we have the Facebook tab. In this case, it's connecting to the College Fashion Facebook page and showing the feed from there. The current Facebook page it connects to is configurable in the template. And then we have a Twitter tab that connects to a Twitter feed that you supply in the template. So here is the same app on the iPad. It's displayed in a nicely designed grid and you can scroll through each item to actually see the, all the items. You can scroll through each feed to actually see the items in the feed and then tap on anyone to view a detailed view. And then we also have the Twitter feed and the Facebook tab as well. Okay, so let me show you how to configure the template itself. So we have a configuration file. Here we have a couple of RSS feed URLs. So these are the two items that were in the initial screen. So we have two here in this case, that's College Fashion and Happen Bazaar. That's the name of the feed and then we also added the feed URL. And then to configure the Twitter username, we have to select the at the at username of the Twitter feed which you want to connect to. In this case hintmag was at hintmag and then the Facebook username is also the name of the Facebook page which you wanted to connect to. So in this case we have so this is the college fashion Facebook page and then we took and then we copy the, the username which is the, the text after facebook.com and then the last thing which I want to show you is the themes you can also configure the themes in here so we can we have a red theme.plus here we have included a couple of themes which is the blue one and the red one and of course we'll be adding more themes as time goes on so thank you very much for watching this video if you want to get access to the news feeder template please go to appsandboard.com newsfeeder thank you very much for watching